Welcome to another priceless video. Dreamcast TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the like button. Because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Hello YouTubians. Because I do quite a few videos on car collecting. People sometimes contact me to ask me how much their cards are worth, whether they're sitting on a vast fortune. So I've done this video to help them and to uh, save me a bit of time as well. There are three ways that you can uh, value your cards, each with their advantages and disadvantages. Number one is become a card expert yourself. Number two is to use a price guide and number three is to check what things go for on ebay the best way to uh, price your cards of course ideally is to become a knowledgeable expert yourself but not everyone has got a lifetime uh, to spare as they say time is precious in its own right so uh, perhaps the next best thing is to use a car price guide or a catalogue. Logically the most knowledgeable people in the hobby are going to be the top dealers because they're quite often collectors themselves uh, because more cars are going to pass through their hands than anybody else's. But you've also got to keep in mind that like any business their aim is to make a profit and their price guides effectively acts as advertisements for their stock. Anyway, here are two of the most widely used cigarette card and tray card price guides. They both have their pros and cons. Uh, the Murray's catalogue is the most widely used guide. It is uh, much more compact than its nearest rival and contains both cigarette card and trade card prices in the same book which means it works out cheaper so far anyway it's even got some useful tips on collecting which is perfect for people who are new to the hobby however if you want a price guide that covers more card issues and provides more information then you might like this one it's it's a bit more in depth it's issued by the London Cigarette Car Company Limited, who were established uh, one of the first car collecting uh, companies who were uh, established in 1927. But the disadvantage with this book is it is in two parts one devoted to cigarette cards and another to tray cards. However, that's alright if, uh, say, you're just collecting tray cards or uh, just cigarette cards, then you just get one. Ebay took the world collector's world by storm more than a decade ago. Um, it provides a tool. It provides tools for checking the past prices from its uh, huge online marketplace. Uh, not so long ago, you could only search for about two weeks worth of items, but now they have extended that to well over a month. And I hope that still applies whilst you're watching this video. So you can have up to the minute information on what cars are actually going for in the real market situation. Um, similar to kind of a stock market. As opposed to waiting a year or two for a price guide to come out. But if the cars that you have are quite rare, then they might not even appear on eBay for months, if not years. Like some of the cars that I collect. Uh, also, one of the most important factors in valuing your cards is the condition. The values in the price guides are based on cards in very good to excellent condition, i.e. they don't have any major imperfections, whereas cards on eBay are listed by thousands of different people with uh, varying degrees of expertise, all with their own interpretations of what is good or excellent condition and that's why when you are listing your cards you should always make sure you upload the largest scanned pictures possible at the highest screen resolution so that prospective buyers can actually review your cards thoroughly and that saves you becoming an expert on card grading yourself and reduces the risk risk of returns 
as well as increasing your chance of um, you know getting the most money for them you will only get top money for your cards if they are in top condition especially if they're not particularly uh, scarce um, I've included my own grading guide in the video description if there are any major imperfections uh, then that will dramatically reduce your chances of getting top money. My best advice is to look on eBay to see whether there are any cards like yours. If there are already about 10 sets on there, then you know it's not a particularly rare set and you're not going to make a fortune unless the demand is really high. If you can't find anything on eBay, you've either typed in your search incorrectly or you might have something that is genuinely quite rather unique in which case it might be worth getting a car price guide especially if you have a lot of cards please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of early cigarette cards and tray cards on youtube and don't forget to come along to my car museum at creamofcards.com